This is a contender for the best cover of all time in my book. And here's one of the best splash pages of all time. Both of these are by Gil Kane. And he's rare in my opinion because he started out way back in the 40s, did iconic 60s issues like the death of Gwen Stacy. And then in the 80s, he was still able to hang with the new wave of Neil Adams, John Byrne, George Perez by doing stuff like this. So yeah, I'm gonna redraw this iconic cover with Spawn in the lead. I was reading Spawn 1 and this George Perez pinup gave me the idea, because it's kind of similar. So uh, yeah, the Batman and Superman will be Spawn. The head close-up is really easy because I can do a silhouette with just green eyes. Classic Spawn. So now let's redraw the flying Superman. You might be wondering why I don't just trace it, but I feel like that wouldn't teach me anything and it would somehow be cheating as well. I did trace a photo in the Greg Land challenge, but there, that was the point of that video. So as you see, even though I'm trying to copy it 100%, mine lacks that special swing and power. So this is a version where I try to kind of alter the shapes to get power in it, but no. <laughs> trying again, sticking closer to the example. I always read the Wikipedia page of the artists I do in the style challenges. And Gil's life story is quite something. Dropping out of high school because he already found work as an illustrator, then joining the army in 1944 and 45, and then going straight back into comics after that. Challenging the comics code by doing a Spider-Man drug story way back in the 70s. And check out this tongue-in-cheek story he drew of himself. That terrible story finished. I wouldn't ever stoop to this mediocre level if I didn't need the money. I'm too good of an artist. Funny guy. Okay, so I think this is my best effort at a recreation. But I do want to change the pose a little bit. Not because I think it would be better, because it won't. But just because it, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit sacrilegious to just stick so close. And I need to add some of my own spice a bit more of the McFarlane hand pose, grabbing the cape, changing the leg a bit and a much bigger cape of course. Okay, let's tighten it up. Gotta love those silhouettes. They look really cool and take two minutes to make. I screwed up the hatching in my Rick Leonardi video. So I'm not making that mistake twice and sticking really close to Gil Kane's example. kind of know the spawn costume by heart, but let's double check anyway. Hey, he had pouches on his leg. What's in those? A pocket knife? Snacks from hell?
Picking the colors from the Gil Kane cover. Some quick lightning using the smudge and blur tool. Spawn buildings. By the way, quick hack for getting horizontal lines on Photoshop. Just type a string of underscores with the text tool, then copy and paste a few lines, rasterize, you can use the stroke tool to make them thicker, and then the perspective tool to fit the building shape. And you have a building with little windows in less than a minute. Copy paste those a few times and the skyline in less than two minutes. Not that detailed though, but yeah, you can always tighten that up. And here we are. This is version one. Trying to stick as close as possible to the example, but it's a bit flat, especially because I, because the background is so dark, the figure is too light, which makes it flat. So add a two-tone and yep, I'll sign off on this. Let me know what you think. Specifically, what do you think the Gil Kane Superman has that <laughs> makes it so good? It's like his version is magic and even copying it so close didn't get that same dynamic feeling. Still not sure what the difference was. If you analyze it, he's kind of looking straight into the camera, but somehow the positioning of the shoulders makes it look like he's twisting his neck in some cool way and looking in the line of his hand. Also his foreshortening in the legs. It just looks brilliant. <laughs> If you think I did a good job, drop a like and see you in the next video, which will be a deep, deep, deep dive into one of the most mystic and genius artists who started in the 1950s and passed away in 2012. Another hint, Dune.